Hey everyone, it's Harvey here from Eco Crowd again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a tomato towel like this ripper over here. Um, so I've got a couple of tomatoes, small ones, uh, just down here. Uh, I've gone down the road at a construction site, found some mesh in the bin that they've just thrown out. So I'm going to use that. Um, and then I'm going to use uh, 20 mil PVC that was left over at one of my jobs. Um, 20 mil, you can use 20 mil, 25 mil. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Whatever you can get a hold of. So what we'll do first is um, with the mesh, I've cut it a bit so you can. Uh, with these bits here, what we want to do is bend them over and around, and then tie them back around. You can use pliers if you want or whatnot. Um, but just make sure that like when you're doing it that the pointy bit because it is quite sharp is just down or up but just make it so they're not sticking out because when it gets to like this height you're going to be chasing all those tomatoes in there so you don't want to be stabbing yourself we'll get all this done just tie it all up it's all pretty pretty easy Righto, so now we've tied that all up, so it's all pretty sweet. Oh, this one. You just want to go around and see if there's any extras that you can just tie around just so you're not going to stab yourself. These ones uh, are a bit out, so I might just cut them off with some pliers. some snips, whatever you got. Righto, so now we've got that. We just want to, you can see there it's like not too round so we'll just uh, Move that out a bit. And make it into whatever shape you want. So that's all done. So now we can just place it over the tomatoes. Make sure that they've got a bit of room around it. Again, try and make, make it a bit level. Right, right, so then we'll get the uh, 20 mil PVC and we're just gonna put these in the ground so this is a bit higher so then we can uh, put that in probably uh, end up using a mallet as well just to get it in quite deep. So you want it to be relatively sturdy. Try and keep it relatively straight. Okay. I'm going to put the other one on the opposite side. Just for a bit of stability. Because once they get to that tall, like, uh, they start weighing a fair bit. I want to try and get them to roughly the same height. I'll show you why. Because once we start getting to this height, what I've done is um, put another layer of this mesh on. And so what I've done is uh, put some T pieces on there on each side and made a little crossbar. Um, just so then later on we can put um, another layer on. So 
it's pretty pretty simple. All you're doing is just getting the T piece. That's a bit piece there and then you can just uh, get another piece of 20 mil give it a bit of a rush rough measurement So that's how you build a tomato tower. Took all about a minute or so to make. Um, real basic, but like uh, they're quite sturdy, and that will help you to be able to grow your tomatoes up and uh, get a tower like that looking. Now it's good that I've used this type of mesh because I can get my hands through real nice and easy. Um, you don't want to be using any chicken mesh or anything like that because you won't be able to get all the tomatoes from the inside. So. Try and find some mesh like that from uh, yeah, any recycle center or construction site building or something like that. And um, yeah, hope that helps you a little bit and uh, enjoy making your tomato tower. All right, ciao.